Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back to another episode of the Non Cooperators, where we are continuing with Police Knots. We're going back to Forensics to see what Victor Frankenstein's got to say. Cheerio, Gates! I fucking hate you. He's looking at me. He fucking hates you. So, what do you think of uh, BCPD? It sucks! So, oh, I'm sorry, but I can't help you with... Talk. Doctor? What is it? Ah, I'm sorry, I'm just tired. This game starts to get a little... It gets to you. How's the analyst going? Well, someone's impatient. I don't have the results yet. Come back later. Why don't you uh, take a wander around the station or something? Where the fuck else are we supposed to go? I don't want to... Fine, fuck you. <sighs> Lobby, I guess. Talk to this asshole. Find what you're looking for, detective? Just getting started. Hey, Ed, now that you can add babysitting uh, to douche, uh douches to your job description, I still can't believe you flew all this way to see Ed. Ha! I still can't believe you won't shut the hell up. He's always like this, trust me. Just let it go. I still can't... We're gonna go down to the shooting range and I'm gonna kick your ass. That's Bob, one of, uh, the, the desk sergeant. All he does is talk about people behind their backs. I don't like this guy. No shit. He's one of the desk jockeys who thinks he, he he's all shit. Don't Like his shit don't stink. Well, what else am I supposed to do? Well, I look. Operatives. How about this guy? Apparently. Wait, whoops. And there's a room. Map of Beyond. Where else can I go? Uh, let's go outside. Uh, you need to know this place first, then we'll start looking for Hojo. We certainly... We have a certain way of doing things here. You have to understand that. Well, where the fuck else am I supposed to go then, Ed? If you're gonna show me, then show me this way. Don't be like, oh, you... It's like saying, oh, welcome to my expensive ma mansion. You lead the way. I'm sorry, welcome to my expensive mansion with a maze. Lead the way, so I'll show you the way. And so I'll show you around, you go ahead and lead the way. Like, what the fuck? Oh, don't worry if you get us lost, because I honestly have no idea where the fuck we're going. Let's go back down to Vice? I don't know. Uh, we're back at Vice. How you doing? I'm only curious. That gun seems a, a little big for big for a woman. <laughs> this is a Magnum Monster special, uh, special, the biggest lift gun in the world. Okay, so it's not. I'll take my recoil any day. Yeah, so I figured it wouldn't be like a a 50 cal Magnum, a 50 cal Desert Eagle Magnum because it'll be a lift gun. Figures. I wouldn't mind watching you practice sometime. Ah, uh, whatever. Ooh, I don't know where else to go. Hang on, let me go back to the AP room because I think that dude was there. Oh shit! Hang on. Oh god, I'm getting wires caught. We're back. We're at AP. This guy right here. I know that guy. Yep, that's him. Now we're actually further in the plot. Yep, that's him. He's the guy that killed Lorraine, I think. Having fun, police not? So, you're AP. This is Tony Redwood. He's heads of bomb disposal. Son of a bitch! He also beats uh, EMP pilots. They call him Mr. Go uh, Godder. How long do you expect it to last when you can barely handle a bit of SAS? This is beyond. Totally different ball game from what the torrential uh, are used to. Rather that than reject a bad zombie movie. Jonathan, just ignore him. Say, Ed, you know how this timer works? What that? 
You hear that? In the bomb squad at home? I heard you were in the bomb squad at home. Before I joined the narcotics, yeah. Normally, a bomb maker will inappropriately sever uh, several traps into a device to prevent them from... See the red and the blue cord? There, the final safety. Cut the right one and you're done. Which would you pick if you were uh, to set it now? Red or blue? It's always the red wire, guys. It's always the red wire. Red. Yeah, exactly. Red. Red for redwood. Boom. Oh, fuck you. Now, we have a whole lot of... A social path won't necessarily opt for red. The answer's blue. Always go for I always go for blue myself. Thanks for the tip. That just no, that's actually mm, that's actually getting me to think now because I feel like that we're gonna have to defuse a bomb later in the game, and the real question would be is like if this guy is the actual killer who that killed Lorraine with his bomb and with his synthetic blood and everything. I mean, he's on the goddamn cover, so obviously he's a main freaking character. He most likely killed the rain son of a bitch maybe i'm but i'm leaning more towards it and he also has like that cryptic fucking bad guy uh shit to it my god my watch is a little tight i don't know where my brightling are but um i don't know when he said go, always go for blue i go for blue myself does that mean you go for blue by cutting it or you go for blue by having it as your primary that if we do cut it it goes boom I don't know. Now, now I'm just curious. Alright, next time if we do have to defuse a bomb, always save. Okay, so look. He looks like a corpse with that complexion, not to mention the look on his face. Well, call him the living dead around the station. I don't blame you. All he needs is some moans, brains, brains to complete the image. I defused this early. Real state-of-the-art uh, device. Terrorists have uh, have been using some pretty advanced com components in their bomb lately, haven't uh, haven't they? It was a bomb they killed. Le it was a bomb that killed the rain. Why'd you ask me about it anyway? You never know when terrorists could strike. Even an old timer like you should be prepared. I don't ever want to defuse another bomb. One never knows when the life might be threatened by one of these to defuse it. What do you think you're doing? I'm not here to amuse you. I feel like that's also a lethal, some some lethal weaponness is in there. Like when they had to defuse the bomb that was in uh, 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 Murtoff's toilet, or they defused the bomb in the building in the, in the the third yeah third movie. But technically, they didn't defuse any bomb. The second one, by the way, spoiler alert. In the second one. They sprayed it with liquid nitrogen, so the bomb would have a delay explosion. So when they, he, uh, when they pulled him up out of the tub, they went to the cast. They pulled him up out of the toilet. They went to the cast iron tub, threw the bomb blanket on, and then and then it blew up like two seconds later. Then with Lethal Weapon Three, which is my favorite, well, not really my favorite. It's just my favorite scene in that movie, which is also Joe, my cooperator partner, is also his favorite scene, where he's like, "Okay, I'm gonna cut the, uh, I'm gonna cut the red wire. Are you sure? Yeah, 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 yeah. It's all, it's not complex. It's just like, it's like the bomb on your toilet, but you know, a much, sm much bigger scale. I mean, okay, so I'm gonna cut the blue wire. Whoa, 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 whoa. You said you're gonna cut the red wire. Did I say red? I meant blue. But w w what if it's wrong? It's like, well, um, we're gonna find out. Okay, we're gonna we're gonna snip, <sighs> snip, little snip, snippy. Um, Raj, grab the cat, and they just run out the run out, and the fucking building blows up. Is that really funny? Uh, that's a really fun, uh, funny uh, scene in that movie. Okay, so let's talk to this douche, Redwood. What do you want? Ask about him. My commanding officer is the chief. My companion. I didn't drink anything, and I should be drinking something to, for my talking, but, uh, his fucking throat is all dry and everything, and I'm just, my god, and I'm just, I'm just burping up a storm, I don't know why. Okay, companions are, you see around you, neither of them, so I don't have to answer to any questions about him, I'll say it again, I'm not obligated to talk to you, you dick, damn you, nothing, forget it. How about AP, I don't have to talk to any, yeah, he really is a dick. Lorraine's murder. Lorraine, who's that? Don't know anyone uh, called Lorraine. He really is like a completely different person. 
The space sp On the space plane, you said you've gone to visit some family at home or something like, didn't you? I wasn't... It wasn't work-related. Oh, it was personal. I don't have to explain myself to you. Answer the question. I don't remember saying anything like that. Speaking of space planes, you shouldn't... Uh, you shouldn't see... Should have seen it, this guy. He was feeling up one of the stewardess. That true? No, of course not. Why don't you introduce him to come? On? <laughs> what the hell? Yeah, so this guy definitely does seem more like a douche. The fact that he actually even mentioned, um, oh wait a minute. Mentions the the plane and everything. It's kind of funny. How do I get out of here though? Like, how do I like I go back just to look at something else? I I guess back then. It's one creepy dude. He doesn't even blink there. That's normal for uh, frozers. None of them ever blink. Normal. The hell's about that? The hell's normal about that? The eyes contain artificial lenses, too. He's riding himself out. That makes the eyesight twice as powerful as yours or mine. What about some of the be uh, beings, our kids, huh? I'm not wor uh, too worried. I mean, there are chances of them choosing us. You're telling me. God help them if they're gonna pick that, that litter. You're one, uh, you're one to talk, Mister. What the hell? Was that just uh, me, or are you having you gotten beef with me? Beef with him? Think so? Something happened between you and I just don't get it with you, Frozos. Okay, let me talk to Gates and see what he says about. It's the chief. Oh, approach. Let me talk to him. Let me see if he'll if he'll at least talk to the to to him. What's the matter? Did something happen? Let me talk. Whoops. Chief. Go ahead. Ask about... Nothing. Because I want to see if we talk about Redwood. Tony Redwood over there. Uh, I don't know where else to go. I guess for back to forensics. See if uh, the doctor's got anything to pull up on the, uh, the schematics. Actually, let me ask. What the fuck is that thing? Oh, the results are in, Jonathan. Yay! Finally. Girdly delivery again. Alrighty then. What do you expect? Goodbye. What the hell? Metal Gear? First time we've ha have the capsules. First time we have the capsules. Go on. It's spinning. A. I. D. Auto. Analyst. Identification. Device. Sorry, Jonathan, but I think... You're wasting your time with this. All four capsules are new products from, uh, uh, Tokunawa Pharmacy. Okay. There's a uh, oh my god, it's a non-sterile anti-inflammatory and dose derivative. Next is para devaya, as a penza green deteriorant tranquilizer. This is a high fat minimum vitamin B complex. This is a freezer rose, semi-synthetic, certainly acting anti-tissue. And SAS is a tranquilizer, vitamins, and a cough and cough medicine. Coin nothing illegal about them. Coincidence, 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 and a coincidence. I gotta take my watch off. It's starting to hurt my wrist now. Nope, just a bunch of pills. Already on the market too. Then why did Hojo hang on to these? Maybe there's some kind of trick to them. Does he have the drug? Does he have to work on the drug something? No microfilm inside them or anything, huh? Well, 
Let's take a look at this. Do they need to put into to different temperatures to change their shape? The four products, ingredients, and chemical components all match the da uh, data on file with a government. Also, a lot of people don't know this, but a legit pharmacy have to be sim uh, symbol called a drug, identifi drug identification code on the drug itself or the pa or the packaging. Okay. The market of the uh, the white uh, side means that it's made by Takahari Pharmacy. White side also stands for the drug, drug name, code of the contents of the capsule. Oh my god, I'm tired. All matches in accordance with that regulation. Basically, they are completely normal products you'll find anywhere. This is pro this episode is going to probably run a little bit long. There's nothing special about them, nor uh, do they mean anything. That said, what? There is one thing about that bothers me. See this? There is an enlargement of on the capsule. There is an enlargement on the capsule code. You could see that. In, in fact, a Tokunagi Pharmacy identification code. But look. Part of the crest is missing. You never see a mistake like these with today's technology. You're right, it's missing. And the missing section forms pa form fr forms pairs. Two capsules are missing on the left side, and other capsules on the right side are missing on the right side. Strange, don't you think? So maybe they're compatible with each other. Like something is like something is compatible with that one while the other ones are compatible with that one or it has something to do with the leaf itself. If there's... If they're not mistakes, they would make... Maybe there's something someone else knock, knocked off? One other thing. These are two-part capsules instead of, uh... Stranger Gastro. Two-part capsules haven't been used in decades. What was Hojo doing with... What are you... Such... Lorraine died getting these to me, getting these, getting them to me. We do know Tekunori Pharmacies are somehow connected. One of the other employees is missing, and now they're, they're now these capsules. What about the leaf? I thought you have a challenge for me, Jonathan. It's from the black pop, the black poppy. A poppy, huh? The main ingredient of narcotics and uh, semi-synthetic. They're talking about it on the news. I'm not surprised. Narcs become an epi uh, epidemic here. So, there is drugs on... All poppy uh, cultivators stamped it out here years ago. This was probably smuggled from home. Then Hojo was involved with poppy tra uh, tra poppy trafficking. I wouldn't be too I wouldn't be so too sure. Why? This is a cross section of a leaf. Normally, plants grow at home always contain air pollution like our uh. But this is totally clean. It's too perfect. So it's from beyond. So, what this is do doesn't come from. Oh, so this doesn't come from home. It actually, obviously, so that it came from beyond. He also found a void of void on it. Yep, I don't know what that is. A void. What's a void? Ah, here we go. Yeah, these cutscenes are going to be very long. It's a pathogen that infects plant cells. And this is Void S, which is found in all over beyond and beyond five years ago, meaning someone is growing uh, black poppies somewhere here. No smuggling necessary. So, why was there a half leaf? Beats me. But the cross difference is also artificial, serves some kind of, uh, no, come on, you're too fast! Maybe it's got something to do with the drug code. Is that it? Lou? We're like 20 minutes in. Seriously. 
kind of need to end this episode. He is so dirty. I don't remember him being that dirty. Nox got uh, relative in Hojo's disappearance. At this, at, at, at this uh, center of the Tokunawa far Pharmaceuticals, this keeps... Uh, oh my god, it's a rumor that Tokunawa was involved with drugs. But no one's been able to prove anything. The chief carried out a big ass through the AP several years back, but blew it. That's the gates. So spoke, spoke it is. We can't touch the guy without. This is uh, this is the way less cut uh, dry than I thought. Who knows? Who else could? God damn it! I say we pay a visit to Tokunawa Pharmaceuticals. I thought that would be like the last thing we should do. To find out where he works, I'm sure we'll learn something. That's fine, but we need to watch how we ha we handle this. Any more questions? I don't know, are you gonna give me the option to answer more questions? Because honestly, I don't think I should. Because this game is too goddamn long! Next time on the non-cooperators, hopefully the next episode will be a, little, a lot shorter. Sorry about the 20-minute uh, session, guys. Hopefully you are enjoying it. Where did you come from,